Hello there, YouTubers. It's Chuckles from Likes the Game with Chuckles, and uh, I pretty much got caught up with uh, most of the E3 coverage of the Xbox One and the PS4. And these are pretty much my thoughts on the whole situation. Um, feel free to disagree or agree. Uh, first, I want to talk about the Xbox One. I mean, everybody knows the negative part of Xbox One. You know, not being able, to, you know, pretty much you're running your games. As soon as uh, the next gen console comes after the Xbox One, you won't be able to play your games no more because the servers are done. Um, I don't like the fact that uh, you're being watched, even though they say you're not being watched. I still don't like the fact, you know, sure I can put a towel over it, <laughs> but still, um, I don't like the fact that I have to do the extra effort of putting a towel over it. Call me lazy, but hey, it's a merc. Anyways. Yeah, uh, and also, you know, not, not, not letting my friends or my, then let me borrow a game or let me let them use the game unless they pay a fee it's just total bullshit um, so yeah it's a big no for me on Xbox One uh, the main deal is you know I have every single console I ever bought still and I keep I keep them for you know nostalgia and of course a lot of good games are on the old consoles and if I can't do that with a console then you yeah, definitely not gonna get my money um, and also I don't like the price tag 500 bucks. Okay, let's go back to where PlayStation 1, no, the very first PlayStation that came out. Uh, it, it was understandable why it was a little bit more expensive because it had new software and it was great titles, you know, it's CDs instead of uh, cartridges. And it was understandable it was going to be kind of expensive because it was new technology. And then, then uh, here comes the PS2 and the Xbox. Um, PS2 offered a DVD at the time DVD was new and you know uh, I don't recall if my Xbox one played DVDs uh, correct me if I'm wrong but you know a DVD player with the game console was a pretty good deal for the fact that you know DVD players back in the day were like 400 bucks so you know you got a deal you got a DVD player and a, and a game console you know and then later on came out with online play and then the 360 came out you know, I, 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 me and Born Dead were talking about this, the old Mary Gamer. You know, X, uh, at one time Xbox was supposed to have an HD DVD player, but I, I think he was saying it was in a, a separate one. But still, the Xbox was offering new technology. Instead of getting a Blu ray, you got HD DVD. PS3, you got, of course, Blu ray. And of course, it makes sense to, to, to charge a lot for the consoles because you're getting, you know, and, and, you know, you're getting a DVD player or a Blu-ray and or HD DVD at the time, but it seemed like a good deal. Now I, I think we hit a little roadblock where the technology is so advanced it can't advance anymore. I saw the graphics for both the PS4, the Wii U, and the Xbox One. They look fantastic, but you know what? They really don't look that much different from the Xbox 3. The Wii U, you know, looks just like any other graph good graphics in the Xbox 360. So. What are we really paying for? Are we paying for like you know streaming? I mean, if, you, if anything, I just you know go buy a cheap ass Wii and I go like I bought this Wii for 25 bucks and I don't have to pay an Xbox membership no more and just watch Netflix and Hulu on that. So I honestly don't see. I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the games look awesome and I was very excited to see a new Killer Instinct. Very disappointed to see it going on Xbox One, but we all know that Rare is bought by Microsoft a little while back. But um. The games look beautiful, but you know they don't look really that much different from you know the, the consoles that are out now. So I don't see why they. I mean, what, what's what's the charging for? I mean, we're not getting a new Black Ray DVD or a new you know zap the movie into your eyelids feature or something cool like that. But it's just another console with just streaming on it. And this, I mean, big deal. I mean, I don't see why that would cause. 500 bucks. If I want to pay 500 bucks and do that, I'll buy a fucking PC. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, I, I, honestly, I just want a gaming console. And the only one that looks like it's going to be a gaming console is the Wii U and the PS4. The PS4 is not going to have the same thing as the Xbox One where, you know, you can still let anybody borrow your games or whatnot. So, all in all, I was kind of disappointed to what what's being offered out there. Um, hopefully, Xbox is like like fuck it we'll just scrap the whole thing and just come out with a new because I, I have a 360 I don't have a PS3 I didn't get a PS3 at the time because um, pretty much you know I, 
I had an Xbox 360 already, so why would I get a, a um, fucking PS3? I may get one now because it may be cheaper. And that's really about it, and I have it part of my collection. But uh, yeah, I mean, I really don't. I mean, I really don't see a difference in why it will cost so much. I mean, I mean, when I was a kid, I wanted a Neo Geo so bad, but you know, of course, Neo Geos were too damn expensive. I mean, you had arcade quality graphics. It's pretty much an arcade MVS board in your home. So, I mean, at the time, yeah, but, you know, the price was too too expensive and no one could afford it. But, I mean, my mom's not going to buy me a $400 machine when she can spend 200 bucks and get, like, a Genesis or a Super Nintendo. So, honestly, the big winner here, I think, is Nintendo because they still seem like the gaming company, their game company, don't worry about any other bullshit. PS4 is right behind them because they're sticking to the what, what works, you know, consoling and, you know, a gaming console. Uh, Xbox, uh, I really hope they're going to scrap everything in it. If anything, this is a downfall of Microsoft or at least the Xbox whole gaming system. So that's pretty much my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Um, um, you know, make your own comments below or make your own video on video response but yeah that's pretty much it so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this little random mine and uh, more videos coming soon catch you later bye